Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video on my New Year's resolutions for 2019. I never really done a video like this so I feel like it would be interesting to see if I actually hit all of my New Year's resolutions for this year. I know last year I hit my marathon resolution. I ran a half marathon last year in 2018 and I really wanted to do that. I don't really remember my other New Year's resolutions but I feel like I have to go back into my journals and stuff like that. This time we are going to talk about my 2019 New Year's resolutions. If you're new to my videos in my channel Hi, my name is Leslie and I make beauty and lifestyle videos. Stay a while, it's nice over here. Without further ado, let's just get started. So my first resolution is to run another half marathon. I feel like I can't run a full marathon because like that's a little too much for me and I don't got time for the I have to go to grad school so I can't like run all the time. So my resolution this year is to run another half marathon. I really liked training for my half marathon last year so I think it would feel like sort of like a routine for me since I ran like almost every every day last year. Running a half marathon is pretty great. Like I feel like I should just keep it going and keep this as a new year's resolution every year just so I could just stay in shape you know and just like run. I just love running like it's just like people don't like running but once you like start going like you just can't stop and I really like running. My resolution for this year is to run faster than my last marathon. I think I ran my last marathon in two hours and 15 minutes around there. I feel like this year I want to bring it down to at least two hours. My second resolution is to go on a vacation. I really want to go on vacation like I never really went on a vacation by myself I'm 21 years old I'm turning 22 soon like literally in like a week or two depending on when I upload this I probably am 22 by the time I upload this I don't really know for my first vacation I feel like I really want to stay in the US so I really would want to go to Florida or I would go to Boston Boston is pretty cool I would also like to go to like the southwest I would really want to go on a vacation either by myself or with my boyfriend this year I do not have money for it right now but but like hopefully I will have money by the end of the year to go on vacation. For my YouTube resolution this year, I want to reach at least 1,000 subscribers. If I reach above 1,000 subscribers, I feel like I would be on top of the world, literally. 1,000 subscribers is pretty low, but I really want to set the bar low because I have been doing this YouTube thing for six years and I have not been growing. So like if I reach 1,000 subscribers this year, I would be really be ecstatic. If I don't, it's okay as well. I will keep doing this and I'll keep uploading as often as I can because I am in school and I am doing other things so like if I put all of my focus on YouTube for the next year I feel like I would reach my goal but we'll see so I wanted to challenge my brain again this year and last year I learned braille like I know sign language and I know braille but this year I wanted to take it a little down because I do need to like freshen up on those languages and like written word or visual word what do you call braille what is it I don't know. I do want to read at least three books this year. I don't really read books that often. Like I really should, but I don't really read books that often. I'm usually reading textbooks for my classes and stuff like that. So I don't really have time to read books. But this year I'm going to make it a goal to at least read three books. The first book I really want to read is the Bible. This is the Bible that I'm going to be studying and reading from. This is the message about in contemporary language. And I feel like this is the best way to read the Bible. I also have a different Bible that's really like a study Bible, but I don't really write anything in the sides of the bible so like i think just having a normal bible book that doesn't really look like a bible book is pretty interesting i also want to read this book right here this is quiet by susan kane i got it for my birthday about a year ago i read it but i feel like i didn't really grasp the concept so i'm going to read this once again the last book i really want to read this year is in the time of the butterflies by julia alvarez i think they made this book into a movie but i'm not gonna watch the movie before i read the book i know the underlying concept of this book Book, like the uh, the storyline or whatever but I really want to know like the details of it so I wanted to read this book as well my fifth resolution is to wake up early for 30 days straight I am a person who likes their sleep I could sleep all day like I could wake up late and then fall asleep a few hours later I feel like it's a problem but like I'm not gonna no I like my sleep so by challenging myself to wake up early I'll be more of a morning person because I am not a morning person nobody could talk to me in the morning like literally I I do not like mornings like it's just not my thing I really want to try this because I really like to be productive but like when I wake up late it's just like I don't want to be productive anymore I feel like I already spent my whole day sleeping so might as well just not do anything by waking up early I feel like I would just like be more productive and have more things done and like do more things early and I feel like it'll be good for grad school because uh -huh, that's a lot of work so 
we gotta do it. My sixth New Year's resolution is to move out. I don't know how I'm going to do that and it's really like a long stride but if I am able to gain enough money on YouTube or like get a job by the time next January rolls around, I feel like I would want to move out. There's like too many people in this house. I hate sleeping with my sister. I just don't like being at home anymore. I want to have my own responsibility. I'm 21. I know people move out later. I just don't want to be in this house anymore. It's literally too much for me. It stresses me out and I feel like if I move out I'll be like calm and collective and I'll be great like I'll be okay so my next resolution is to do 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups in a row not like all like all together like the 200 all together but I want to be able to do 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups in a row I used to do a lot of pull-ups before because I used to like practice and stuff like I used to do like 30 40 around there in a row but then I stopped and now I can't barely do like 10 I want to like strengthen my body like by running and by doing pull-ups and push-ups and stuff like that we just want to be as healthy as we can be at this moment in our lives because we're not having kids maybe i'll record myself doing pull-ups and push-ups one day i don't know maybe when i hit it i'll put it on youtube or something or on instagram so stay tuned and check my instagram as well for that my next resolution is to be patient and be the best person that I can. I feel like I'm a really patient person, but I feel like I could be more patient. So if I calm down, do some yoga or something, we could be more patient. And I want to be the best person that I can be. Because last year, I was really focusing on school and like being stressed out all the time. And I feel like if I focus more on myself and becoming the best person I can be, it'll be a great 2019. And my last New Year's resolution is to survive my first year of grad school. I take my education very seriously and if I do not do well I like put a lot of pressure on myself and I stress myself out way too much but I feel like if I tell myself that I'm going to survive grad school in the beginning of the year it'll like keep my mind like at ease like I'm going to get through it no matter what so those are my new year's resolutions I really want to reach all of my new year's resolution goals because I feel like it boosts up your confidence so like maybe I could do it maybe I can't and I, if I don't do it it's okay but if I do some that'll be great as well if you have any new year's resolutions leave them down below as well because i would love to read them as well i want to see other people's goals as well to see if they can motivate me as well and maybe we could also motivate each other if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or a million thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button that looks exactly like this one and if you want to be notified every time i upload a new video please hit the bell button as well thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.